All right, so I'm going to show you a consequence strategy that you could use in your classroom with Madison, or really any student. So, um, and that is behavior specific traits. So I'm going to show you what it is. Behavior specific traits, high school, example and non-example. Daniel typically comes to Ms. Fisher's class unprepared and without the proper materials. So it's a nice surprise when he shows up today ready for class. In this example, Ms. Fisher uses behavior specific praise to acknowledge that Daniel came to class prepared. Note how she states his name and then specifically describes his behavior. All right, everyone, take out your rough draft of your short stories and then go ahead and attach them. Daniel, I'm not your rough draft. To review, the teacher implemented behavior specific praise correctly. She stated the student's name and delivered praise specific to the student's behavior. In addition, Ms. Fisher delivered the praise in an age appropriate way speaking to Daniel quietly and without attracting unwanted attention. Show a non-example too. In this non-example, Ms. Fisher attempts to offer behavior-specific praise, but her efforts fall short. Pay close attention to the ways in which her delivery and tone prove ineffective. All right, everyone, please take out your rough draft of your short stories. I'm gonna come around and check. Oh, Daniel, good job, you did your rough draft. To review, Ms. Fisher attempted to provide behavior specific praise. She used the student's name and said, Good job, you did your rough draft. However, her attempt was ineffective because her praise was followed by a sarcastic comment and delivered loud enough for other students to hear, potentially embarrassing the student. So that's like sometimes that inner voice that we don't want to hear. <laughs> okay. So, and this is something you can really do. Behavior specific traits, high school, example and non-example. Okay. So, so what I did here is I listed out my steps. So the first book, obviously the one to state the student's name. It has to be specific to, the praise has to be specific to uh -huh. what the student is actually doing. And then obviously we're in high school, so we're not gonna say, oh, so great, you know, like we would at elementary school. Um, so I kept it kind of quietly, and, and then you know your students. So what I want to do now is I want to take us about five minutes, and we want to try the examples. So there's three of you, so and you guys kind of all have different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. So you could kind of work on these together. I actually can do like a scenario myself that I have here. So, um, if we could practice. I actually I wanted to have a whiteboard here. Yeah. This is a whiteboard. All right. Sorry. That sounds good. Oh, this is a whiteboard. You, you want me to get you? Yeah, yeah. you can keep filming. Let's do that. Okay. Whiteboard table. <laughs> to the rescue. And then let me get. Just pause it for a second. 